always use protection. At least that's what we're told. Today we're going to talk about card sleeves. Now sleeving is something that I do not always do, it's a little bit foreign to me, um, but as I've been looking at it because I do sleeve some games, I have found a myriad of options and confusing numbers. So let's take a look at sleeving and some examples in the different card sizes, that sort of thing, so that you can know if card sleeving is something that you want to do. Okay, let's take a look at some sleeves. Uh, firstly, we have some different styles. We have the type that are see-through, both sides. Now, these came with uh, Crossmaster Blast, so they were perfect for the cards in that, uh, but there was too many. So uh, I've kept some off to the side there. And they are clear, um, uh, clear <coughs> sleeves, and they might come in kind of smooth or matte finish. It's you more standard to get a matte finish on one that has a back, like these uh, fancy flight sleeves. And um, you'll see these say standard card game size. These also say standard American board game size. These are standard game size, but they're slightly different measurements to these one. And these are standard size, but being as they're fancy flight, they're the same. So these are, the, these are basically the equivalent of this here. Now, what I'm tending to find is that uh, standard size basically means uh, European size and there's, there's also standard American size. So you can see these, uh, these have a, a cover on the back, so any cards you put in there are going to be, you're not going to be able to see what's on the back of them. So depending on whether that's an important thing in sleeving your cards or not, um, that uh, may make a choice for you. Now, of course, as well as uh, sleeve themselves not coming in uh, kind of easy sizes, although Fancy Fights are colour-coded by the packets, so that's uh, quite handy there. Uh, so you've got your yellow ones. Uh, these are upper deck. Just, uh, and these are actually bagged inside here as well. And it's always useful, even if you're kind of, if you're not using them all, to tear off that bit and keep it within a baggie with your sleeves so you know which size they've got and you don't have to kind of uh, mess around. So these are all fairly same. There's some differences in the, the quality, the feel here, and these um, upper uh, Ultra Pro ones have a little watermark on there. Um, and these feel a bit more grippy than these generic ones that came with the board game. So these feel like they will be a bit more grippy for shuffling, for example. Now, some sleeves, usually the cheaper lots, will cause your, um, like these, will cause your games to, your shuffling to be a little bit more difficult. Um, but uh, it's that's one of the downsides. Sleeves are generally protecting the cards. But cards come in all sorts of sizes, like these from Beastie Bar. I'm not exactly uh, tarot size, they're a bit wider. Uh, and then I've seen bigger cards this length that are not as wide. Um, and generally, for me, I'm only gonna sleeve game, uh, games that are where the card quality isn't that good and I'm gonna wanna play it. For example, I have here sleeved uh, Dungeon Mayhem. Now, great game, I love it, but the card quality isn't very good and was already starting to tear. Particularly with these black cards, you start to see the white if they get caught while you're shuffling. Now, the sleeves I've used are the Final Fantasy Green, so standard American board game size. I tried with these first, but let me show you, if I can on camera, that these are not quite right. So you see at the end there, sticking out, and there's just too much wiggle room on either side. Whereas when you pop one of these in the correct size, it fits like a glove. So you've got a little bit at the end, that doesn't matter so much, but more importantly around the side, I mean, you don't want a load topping off the end, uh, but down the sides, it's nice and snug. Uh, and shuffling is actually no problem. In fact, due to the slippiness, they uh, do slide in a little bit. Where you might have more trouble is having a large stack of cards without some sort of holder. They do tend to uh, slide around unless you get those matte finish sleeves. So uh, that's that for those ones. Um, 
just to show you, so these cards, I don't, these ones don't get shuffled so much. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. Um, I haven't used those ones very much, but you can already see little nicks, um, little nicks there in the cards from being played with a lot, uh, or not a lot in this case. They're just not great cards. Um, but there is one other issue with sleeves, uh, is that this looks very snug and, and perfectly designed for not using sleeves, and actually sleeves make your cards bigger. Sorry. Um, so you can see that this is now a very tight fit. I'm not sure if I sleeve them all, if they're all gonna fit in there. I didn't sleeve these two because they don't get shuffled, they're just information, and that seemed a bit wasteful. Um, but I am gonna try and sleeve all these and see if they still fit. It looks like there should be enough room, but I may take out this silly little box and have some expansion room into there for any that I can't, that are too tight in there. We shall see. But bear in mind, when you buy sleeves, you need extra room in the box. They do compress a little bit, but that, that is now very tight compared to the rest. I'm actually bending a little bit the um, divider there. And of course, they come higher. So just bear that in mind. The other neat thing with sleeves when you get them from a company is that you can have uh, not just plain backs, but if I show you these, coloured backs. So these were in the Ocean Deluxe box and they've actually, there's two different types of cards and they've given you designed sleeves that have the proper backs for the decks that you're using them in. Uh, and they've given you lots for expansions and um, spares in case they do rip. Sometimes you will find one that rips. Let me show you on these cheap ones that it's just, you know, like, well, that's quite good actually. So quite durable. I'm surprised. Oh, so that side wasn't, the other side was. But if you look, that one took a bit of a beating. So you're gonna damage, some, some of these may get damaged, but of course you've usually got spare if they're provided in the game. Shall we risk it and try the Fantasy Flight one? See how easily they rip. Okay, they're better on both sides, I think. Try it at the weak joints. Yeah, so at the weak, at the sides, they're gonna rip down. But um, you have to apply quite a bit of force to do that, and no one's gonna do that, really, anyway. The other big tip I can give you with sleeves, and this is something I do, is if you are someone who likes to design games or pop your own cards into games, rather than getting a set of blank cards or chopping up cardboard to have something firm enough, is get some sleeves with a coloured back, pop a bit of paper in there, and then on the front, using a permanent marker, write your, uh, write your details of your card. Um, you can have, I tend to print out a little grid, a piece of paper with loads of grid marks on, so I can just draw things like numbers in the corner. I cut all those out, put them in sleeves, and then I write on the front of them with a permanent marker. If you need to erase that, you just draw, scribble over it with a dry white marker, and then that will wipe off the stuff, allowing you to tweak cards on the fly, try adding cards to games. Of course, you need to sleeve all the ones that uh, you, were, you were adding to, but that is a general uh, look at sleeves. We do have small ones, let me show you those as well. So, so for games with, uh, I've got moon bots over here. Take that out. So literally most cards, even square cards these days, have, um, have some sort of sleeves for them. Just make sure, don't buy a load until you're sure of your measurements. Like I've not checked these against this, so I'll be interested to see if these are, this is a mini American boards game size, and this is blue orange. So I would imagine it would be an all right fit, but this game is not really suitable for sleeves. No, you see, so they're already way too big for those ones. So I would have said these are normal mini cards, but they appear to be a bit smaller. I, this is the type of game I wouldn't sleeve anyway because you're placing your cards into uh, into here. So they sleeves are not gonna help with that. But uh, that just illustrates my point. You can get sleeves. If you wanted sleeves this size, you would be able to get them, but make sure you check your sizes first. That is a basic overview of card sleeves. Thanks for watching. As always, thank you very much for watching. You can get 
plenty of car sleeves to suit all your needs on the Zatu website. Please do like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow us on all our other social media. Thanks again for watching.